All right, here we are. Okay, what we're doing today is uh, baby back ribs. We got a uh, beautiful uh, sets of baby back ribs. Pick them up at the market, they're on sale. We've got uh, a little salt and pepper. I picked up some of this Stubbs rub. The real cowboy. You get your own thing if you got your own favorite. You get your own favorite. We're gonna mix in some of this as well. And uh, we're gonna rub them down, put a little moisture in here. We're gonna braise them for about 45 minutes. And then we're gonna shoot them on the grill. We'll see how it goes. The mama's secret of cooking ribs is take this Silver nasty stuff off the back of the ribs. Just, just take it off. The silver skin. Or is it, it uh, I'm not about silver, silver skin, kind. but well, it's a membrane of some kind. Yeah, anyway, that, that doesn't soften up. That's, oh. very, that's <laughs> very, that's very chewy. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you can get an end and pull it all right off. Yeah. Not, yeah. not today. There's, there's also a good cheating way. Um, just run it under hot tap water, and then it becomes very white and comes off very easy. But that's okay, that's for beginners. We're far from beginners. Right. You can so see I was thinking about you can see it. Look at that. Just take it off. I was thinking about sea bass. Oh yes, yep. And I was like We don't mean the horse or race. <laughs> I was like, I wish that guy would call in or we're recording one day because that would be <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> like I almost want to call him. Right. <laughs> Because <laughs> I know there's like an 80% chance he's all shit faced. He's all lit. I, I've got no luck with this shit. It's alright. Get that membrane off. Yeah. Sometimes I use a spoon. The YouTube world will understand you're new at this. You've only been doing it for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just Fresh one. Take that off. It's no good. The gloves help because this meat's kind of. Slimy. Um, it's aged lovely. Like I said, a huge strike on Strike? UAW work. Well, I seen that we had something going on though in Windsor. Oh, uh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> we can see it make gloves out of Well, this is what Napoleon is using for safe sex back in the day. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> The <laughs> contraception with the uh, rib skin. <laughs> Just wrap it up. There you go. Oh. It's a little, little tricky, but if you get it done, it makes your ribs a hundred times better. All done. It took nothing but three minutes. I you said that. You well, can't get a grip off this one. There. There's always one screw that's tough, right? There it is. I got it. Strip the screw. Okay. What do we got? Here? Six? Uh, five. Five, okay. So three in one and two in the other. Cool, actually, let's go like this down with that bigger. And then put these little small, small together. fries together. All right, I'm going to mix up a little of this, uh, this lovely dry rub. Rub. Grab a I'm going to get rid of all this. Sneak that in there. Alright, so I've never tried this stuff before, but it smells. Oddly familiar, like a uh, like rib rub I've oh, used before, but only all mixed together already. They got that smoked paprika in there for sure. This is paprika, well, obviously the color, but it's not spicy, so there's no cayenne in it. There's no, you know, nothing crazy. So if your family doesn't, until we add some nice clubhouse. Hi, honey. Appreciate. It. We'll be back in five minutes. That's <laughs> the only way to get it out. There's no other way to do it. The top doesn't come off. I guess right. I just grind it up with a knife or <laughs> throw it in the uh, cut down plastic. What do you call that blender I got there? The Vitamixer? The Vitamixer. We'll wait to hear from Ninja to see if we can get us some equipment. 
That would be nice. I'm buying the foodie. Like that'll be on my. Uh, is that the food saving kind of thing? That's the pressure cooker and air fryer and one kind of, you know. Oh yeah, it's actually, let's turn these over first. So you always want to season both sides. Side, you just want to season a little bit, not so much because there ain't no too much meat there. But I'm going to put a little uh, it's about it. liquid in the bottom of these. So, oh, nice. this smells like root chicken. That's what it smells like. Yeah. Isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, you can like find it at the, the supermarket. Right. They yeah. already made stuff. Yeah. For seven dollars. Now I like a dry rub, but then on my barbecue, I like throw a little sauce on top. So. When it's uh, close to being done. Yeah, yeah, right at the end. Because most barbecue sauce has a good portion of sugar. And that will definitely burn, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, what I like to do is coat it and then uh, close the lid for a bit, let it uh, caramelize a little bit, and then just pull it off. All right, a little more on here just to save on mess a little bit. Keep this upright so we got a liquid. Stays in like a pool. All right, so we'll, uh, there is a Nope, I got it. In that corner, there's a like a bottle. You can fill up the bottle. No, up top in the corner cupboard. Up top. See the picture right there? Grab that picture. Yes, sir. Perfect. The, the junk cupboard. You want uh, straight up uh, H2O here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, some, just some water, just so we can create some steam. And then we'll airtight seal it. As we like to call it. And, uh, in the profession, uh, cloud stock. I wouldn't waste stock on this, only because we're just doing this to tenderize it a bit, render some of the fat, and infuse it a little with this uh, rub that we've got on here. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put this on because we're going to need tin foil again. I got it right here. There you go. I planned ahead. So, I don't know what to do with the Bishop household, but here I put a little of this on to I put the aluminum foil on top. Try to get a seal, and if I. And then there's no chemical reaction between the aluminum foil and the ribs. I don't know if there is one or not, but this way. No, as long as there's no acid. Tomato only does that nonsense. Um, this. The baby back there cooks a lot quicker than you would think. Mm -hmm. I know you don't need to do all that. You want them all done. And uh, I've got a buddy who uh, slow cooks his, so he's going to turn his barbecue on, just the one half. Oh, that's, yep. Turn yeah. it down to low, just season salt his ribs, mm -hmm. put them on the opposite side, all the... Yeah. Well, side ribs I would do that with, but, That's exactly that yeah, I mean, but every time I barbecue, every time I barbecue, it's indirect cooking. One side's on, the other side's off. Yeah. All the meat or the protein goes on the off side. That way, when you go in the house to do things, you don't have flare ups. But uh, it takes a little longer. But if you don't have time to barbecue properly, don't barbecue. <laughs> so I also ask for. Uh, we have uh, a charcoal attachment for my barbecue. Okay, yeah. So you can take it, one of the grates out, you put the charcoal thing in, you can use the natural gas to light up your uh, charcoal. Yeah, I and then you have a charcoal burst. 
Then, or you can use that charcoal side and just put a bunch of soaked wood and you can make it's got it a corner. Smoker. It's got a corner, corner for the wood so you can get some flavoring there. Nice. I want a nice smoker. I wouldn't mind. I've been looking at I wouldn't mind purchasing one of the eggs. What <laughs> <laughs> a great barbecue. Oh my goodness. It's it is kind of cool. Oh. You know, you can, you can like seal it. So it puts the fire out, you can reuse that charcoal. Like you right. say you've uh, only got a little bit to cook. You've used Take the oxygen 30%. Away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So seal sharp, it. Sharp. Puts it out completely, and then you've got, uh, you've got charcoal you can use again. All right, so I'm going to preheat the oven. Round one. Boom. Take another sip of this beautiful coffee. Mm. What do I can't sleep? All right, convection at 325. Convection 325. <laughs> Listen up. Okay. Boom. Good job. Take a little break. And then we'll come back and uh, do the potatoes. Yeah, actually, I, yeah, you can smoke that outside. I can go smoke outside. You need oh, yeah, you pour it out. All right, let's get these in the oven. We may have to turn this on. We'll use the top one for that, and then we'll use the, uh, we'll throw the potatoes in when those are up. Okay, so. Wait a Potatoes. Put onion in there for the flour. Why make that bad? The kids come over, hang out for a little while. I made some little ghetto Greek potatoes. I just made it up in my own mind because I had feta cheese on sale. So, you know. So I did a uh, roasted potato, boiled it, roasted it, and then tomato, uh, red onion, tomato, and big chunks of feta cheese. On the potatoes, this is what good. <laughs> <laughs> so grab us so grab us a garbage bag out of there, out of the top drawer in the gar garbage cabinet. Yeah. Top drawer. Nope, that's the one big bag. Grab one of those groceries. Yeah. Yeah. Just so we have something. Right. 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 Okay. Uh, so get a bowl, right? Yeah. Speaking, speaking of the guitar off camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what it is. We had these uh, we had these dinner rolls my mom made. Yeah. And they were like, she's like homemade, delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, they're kind of plain, and then, so I made mixed up a little bit of and uh, no, just warm them up and then just dunk them. Okay, right, yeah, oh, yeah. Good stuff. So, take it like that. Yeah. Onion, same thing. That's nice. Yeah. And then that peel, set it aside for me because I'm gonna stock. stock I have my stock in. I just did, I just emptied my freezer from all that miracle garlic, onions, carrots. Speaking to your mic, I can't hear you. Oh shit! I thought I had it on. <laughs> we'll do that over. Cut. Pick it up. Cut. <laughs> Let's roll it again. <laughs> I just actually made my stock from my freezer because I have a big bag of all the oh, yeah. air one eh? garlic. Oh, we're going to be doing a, we're gonna be doing a chicken and a beef and a vegetable stock day, so there'll be a link like right here or there, or maybe down here in the corner. <laughs> as soon as I learn how to put a link up. Where's the uh, friend at? What? Does it? More? Probably, yeah. Buy one, get one free. That way, I'm just thinking about how your stock make it nice. Okay. Um, well, that's just additive. I'll actually cut up a couple big onions for the stock. Well, you'll, we'll see. See when we make it. So 
almost soup season two. Warrior. Yeah, dude, I made that soup uh, was it last week. No, the night before. Okay, so I made this big ass pot of soup. I mean, like ten liters. Of soup. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Ten liters of soup. Um, and I made the filet mignon for dinner that night with the demi glaze and you know, it was really a lot of food. Right. Yeah. Uh, I had a little bowl of soup before dinner. Lynn and the kids had a bowl of soup. Just a little bowl. 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 Then the kids uh, had added after hours. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. There was like two bowls of soup left the next day. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta understand. That's good. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Uh, French onion soup. Oh, the, the hell with French onion soup. Not just onion soup, either. Because everyone sells their onion soup, but I'm telling you, man. Mine is the bomb. Oh, I love an onion soup. Yeah, so, so. I'm gonna do it one day. So, this is, it looks like garbage, but it's really not. Oh, yeah, you'll see. It'll actually help with our stock. Uh, I've saved my eggshells sometimes. So Give you a little clarity in your stock. All right. Salt pepper. Salt pepper. Oregano. Oregano. Garlic. Garlic. Fresh cloves with garlic. All of the day. Salt pepper. Salt pepper. Salt pepper. Salt pepper. Salt pepper. What are you looking for again? Oregano. I just don't want to put the camera. Uh, it's a neck. <laughs> Cover <laughs> All right. What, what, what does the top of your hat say? Uh, Make America great again. <laughs> yes, manga. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yeah, I got a manga hat. Us Canadians love <laughs> making America great again. Yeah. Uh, speaking of politics. Uh -huh. I am definitely not a conservative, but I like the conservatives of somewhat progressive because I don't care who people sleep with right, and yeah. what they do in their own time. Like I really don't, and I don't believe in forcing women to have a baby they don't want, and I don't, you know. So I'm definitely not a conservative, but sometimes. People are too progressive, does that make sense? Oh, for 100%. I'm only concerned with who I'm sleeping with. Well, that, yeah, exactly. Uh, that's what everybody should just be worried about who they're sleeping with. Not who your neighbor's sleeping with, or anybody else. Can. But um, I just find the left has gone. Well, just to be honest, the left gets a little extreme, the right goes way more extreme. So if the if the left moved left a little bit, and the, the right, right doubles it. You know, like it's just it just gets crazier and crazier. So cut the end off your garlic because it is bitter if you uh, decide to cook it. Okay, I, uh, I got you. What you want? Or in? Or out? You want out? <laughs> I don't think she knows what she wants. She loves parking at the neighbor for some reason. That's it? Okay. You should want to know. Probably just hurt the whole body. Oh, you know what? what? We should probably oil oh, yeah. off on the garlic. Because it just get all burnt up on you. Yeah. yeah, so I'm thinking of some tosses with some more, uh, a little bit of oil and some of that. Oh, some of that fat. Yes, sir, right here. Right there. Okay, so I made a beef stock, and this is uh, the fat that congealed on the top. I, and it looks so gross. But no, <laughs> it's so delicious. No, no, this is what we call gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely delicious. I don't know how good it is for you. Probably not at all, but it's great for you. It's good. It's good for your taste buds, doesn't it? 
size one is not a size to each of us. You need to be living back in your life. Sure. You need a little meat on your bones. Um, cure for anything. It's a sandwich if you ask an old guy. <laughs> you got a cold, eat a sandwich. You got diabetes, eat a sandwich. I planted my own, I planted my own potatoes in a pot when I it was on the apartment or down the balcony. And then when I moved to the house, I had to get rid of it. I had about eight ones half the size, like I grew in a pot. Oh yeah. So next year I'm gonna do like put pot in. Yeah. yeah. I just had the potato that had, you know, you get the potato has the eye that kind of grows out of it if it's under your cover too long. Yeah. Then I just cut the base of the potato so it's a little bit, like just put it in the dirt. I mainly did it just for the leaves because the leaves are nice and then you have like greenery on your belt and you know, cut the um, And then they just sprouted all kinds of potatoes. Yeah, yeah things are easy to grow. Um, onions are too. Tomatoes. Or slice a tomato like a sandwich, put it in a dirt cover, and forget about it. Boom. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, this is the side yeah, of the side of the house here. Like we got nothing going on there. Uh, there's like a little plot of dirt right before the gate. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's gonna be my herb garden. Oh, it's a good thing you got the, the tomato thing. Like in the spring, by like fall, all the herbs yeah. in it. Yeah. yeah. Back in the day, chef's cool. For a cheap, you know, like Christmas, they didn't have the money to get another Christmas gift, so I would just get nice bottles and make your own vinaigrette with, you know, the whole oh, yeah. rosemaries and get a little candle, melt it, dip the end in so it kind of falls down, you know, put a bottle on it. Now I got money, so they don't get nothing. Pour me out of the That's what I did with my birthdays. <laughs> Because you're going to be infused with oil. Infused with licorice. My kids are always on vacation far away on my birthday. Oh, my mind, yeah. Mm. 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 Let's cut them off a bit first. And about halfway through, we'll... Because uh, I need to turn on. Wait for the garlic. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Alright, alright, take a little break, and uh, we'll be back when we pull those, uh, pull those ribs out of the oven. Alright, all right. so it's been about 40 minutes, we're going to pull those uh, ribs out, let's throw these potatoes in. You might want to take that. I'm pretty sure it's still picking up my voice, like even when it's not on me, it's still going to sound as good, obviously. But yeah, Alright, here, throw these potatoes in. Alright, so we're going to cook those potatoes for uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and then we'll pull them out and uh, throw our onions in, throw them back in, get the onions nice and caramelized, and we're ready to eat. Our ribs are uh, <laughs> you know when I started watching again? 30 Rock. Ever watch 30 Rock? Oh yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Dude, I mean I watched it, I saw I saw the whole series before. 
but I just watched it again. It's so funny, man. I was looking for a new TV series to watch the other day, so there's some Parks and Rec. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah like a couple of them. Is he's on Sarge's in there? And, right. Uh, so those are rich. They're Ooh. looking pretty good. They look a lot better once they're on the grill. But I watched the first episode, and then I was like, yeah, that's a half hour. I'll never get back. Oh, I've never seen it. It's no good. No. Oh, I didn't know that. It, it's on for years I now. Know, and I thought it would be good because a couple of them that I like, you know, I just don't know their names, right? And yeah. it's just... That's that fun girl, what's her name? That Plaza girl's in it too, and I like her. Plaza? Yeah, her last name's Plaza. Oh, she's funny, she's very oh, odd. Look at and you got that <laughs> Indian brother, that comedian. Because he's in sorry, isn't it? He's yep. funny as shit. He's funny. She's really oddly funny and pretty hot. Uh, she was on Saturday Night Live, man. You're talking about... What the hell's her name? I don't know. It's right on tip of my tongue. Something Plaza, though. I'm almost sure it's Plaza. Okay. But the blonde. You're talking about the blonde. The blonde, yeah. 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 She's funny. You're right, yes. I think her and Tina Fey are right together. And uh, Tina Fey's hilarious. Yes, yeah. Just smart, right? Smart writing. Right? Something so everybody can appreciate. Was it that good? Parks and Rec with it? No. And like I said, I've never seen it, but I heard good things. So I was going to. If you were to say, yeah, it wasn't bad, I was going to check it out. But. I don't know. That's a, that's that fat, kind of fat piece in this now for I think yeah. some of our. Uh, are you neat there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that stuff that looked like a condom when we pulled it off. Yep. <laughs> so you guys can see. <laughs> that's why you take it off. It's like gum. It's pork gum. Mm. Um, oh, I think her name is Pan. What the hell is going on with me? But there is a. You have an Amazon Prime? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. So there is an Amazon Prime movie. So I watched last night. Just needed a movie to watch. It was called. Have you seen Carnival Road? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I yeah. Know. Really good. I don't know. After that, I got a little new love for fairies. <laughs> so I looked at her because I'm like, she's pretty smoking, you know, just for and then like, just like an actress. So I looked her up. Well, oh, she's a model first. Yeah, so she she's out, right? Yeah, she's so pretty. You can tell just by looking at her. I, I'm almost a, Amy Poehler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jesus, I can't believe I forgot that name. You know what? I watched the most embarrassing things, but. I want to work high. <laughs> it's on my list, but I don't want to. I'm going to watch it. Go work high. But I watched Undone on Prime Video. It's a cartoon. Okay. It's like a really realistic cartoon. Right. Yeah. Adult content. It's not good. Uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's pretty good. I watched the whole series. I mean, like the whole season. Right, yes. Yeah, so it's only eight episodes, but. Oh, the movie called The Vigilante. It's called The Vigilante, Amazon Prime. So, pretty much about this woman who got, you know, a beat, beat, by, her her husband. Husband, beat by her husband, you know, with, uh, with a, 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 a beautiful woman, you know? Um, and then she goes to, like, a uh, meeting so she can cope with it. Yeah. But she's going to meetings secretly to find the hero that women that got treated the same way she did it. And then she starts this vigilante business. You know, if you're, I saw this. If you're afraid of your husband and your, your kids are afraid of your husband, let me know. I'll take care of it. There's a group of them, isn't there? No, just her. Oh, just, just her. her and okay, so something else. But I don't want to give anything else away, you know, so she's like the bitch lady. Yeah. It was a good B movie, man. On Prime Video? Yeah, Prime Video, yeah. It was it was really good. I enjoyed the whole, whole movie. You know, there's two parts. It's like, oh. Let me pull it up. I just want to look at the... I want to look at the... Uh, like, why'd you just kill him? You know, <laughs> what else is the same words? I guess he had to make the movie a little longer. But. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's a pretty good that's movie. All, that's all I'm gonna say about it. <laughs> it's a good movie, man. Um, there's no one in it, really. You know, there's not that I, you know. So, Vigilante, you say? The Vigilante. Oh, The Vigilante. Oh, I'm sorry. The movie poster is like a girl's half face on the left side of the poster. Dude, I'm loving this. Uh, Andrew Alperin's. Like I'm a, I've been an iPhone guy for a couple of years now, 
and it's just kind of cool. So all of a sudden, it's done automatically. That I would normally have to do manually on my iPhone. Like all the passwords, I put in with just oh, a, like all my passwords in uh, LastPass, my password manager, pop up automatically. I just put my fingerprint in and they, they pop up. It's just kind of, you know, iPhone. Like, you know, I gotta take up on the phone. It's not like it's a memory card or some shit. You're always dangerously low in space, you know, my nerves. I hate captions, I can never get them right. Are you saucing them on the barbecue as well right now? Yes, sir. You said that my sauce is on the barbecue. Right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get a brush. So, you need 6 and 6 to do it, right? 8 and 6. That's just 3 lines. It's not an end? No, you can't. How do you put three lines? You can't. That's why I thought it was an end. True. Right so you can see it underneath. It's not attached. Like, fuck off. Okay, fuck off. Well, well, that was your Amazon Prime thing? Well, then I'm not Prime, yeah. I've got a cat scrapping on a new phone, so wants to make sure it's me trying to watch it with you. Yeah. And not like some yeah, I don't like this. crazy yeah. thief and stole my phone because I don't want vigilante. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. Um, okay, put some sauce together. I'm going to use this thick one. So, you don't want to use this thick one? For what? I don't know. No, that's the fact I want it to render off of it. Alright, you want to make a sauce or you want to use the sauce? Oh, right? man, yeah, no, you can probably use one of that you bought. It's not good. You can just doctor it. Chicken and sauce. I've got TBQ sauce somewhere, but I don't think it's spicy enough. So, oh. I will totally use this. Craft, uh, barbecue. My friend, my friend Elizabeth made some uh, TBQ sauce in a mason jar of it. It's yeah. like, it's really seriously TBQ sauce. So, I've never made it before. I've never seen it. Oh, man, it was so good. Yeah, I've never seen it. If you need it, I have it. I mean, if you can't do your own Google search. Yeah, I have it. It's online. Oh, see, this is all that. Alright, so cheers to that. Mustard. That's good. Oh, you're not drinking. Yeah, I just wanted to taste that. It's just all the fat. Oh, you're so cool. I'm not drinking it, but I just need to taste it. <laughs> so I'm going to get a straw in it. It's nice, and it's not even that fatty either. Oh, that's odd. Oh, Shit, I would go on the potatoes. Stop doing that. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna put a little sriracha here. Put a little tea shot. And I'm gonna mix it up. And then we're so easy. I made a remoulade the other day with our two other fish. It's so good. And instead of, I didn't have any pickles, but pickle juice. Right, that's yes, yeah. So I used uh, olive juice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. And it tasted good, so I, I yeah. cut, I de uh, pitted some olives, chopped them up, put them right in the remoulade. Freaking delicious. Yes. Yeah. I, I, today I, I boiled 12 eggs because I didn't want to get it. Pickles from Costco, the big jar. You know, you're a Costco person. Yeah. So the big jar of pickles. She said she tried it at Costco and she enjoyed it, but then when she brought the jar home, she didn't like it. I love it. They're good. I hate all the pickles. So then I still had the um, 
Still had that. All the juice, yeah, that was good. I just threw all the eggs in there and then some peppercorns, some bay leaf, coriander seed. I just did it today. Oh, yeah. yeah fridge is full of that. I like it. I just love it. Looking good. Yes, sir. <laughs> Throw that in for another 10 15 minutes. We're eating. We throw this on the grill and we'll take it outside. Outside. Is there audio on this camera? Yes, there is. And it won't sound too bad out here because we don't have water running. Right, and yes, have... yeah. Okay. Nice meat so side brown. So we're going to sear that out on the uh, other side. I'm going to put a little sauce on this end. Yeah, I was thinking of videotaping dinner, but fucking nobody's here. The kids aren't here. <laughs> right, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No fun. I mean, it's still fun, but... Yeah. Did a video of the plate getting set up or something. So That's I'm going to awesome. close the lid. I'm going to let these uh, really bake in, let the sauce bake in. I'm going to flip them. I'm going to sauce them again, close the lid again. Five minutes, let it really, uh, really bake. So as you see, the dry rub is kind of nicely baked in. Put a little sauce on this side. And this weather is booming. Worse, you know. You less, can't ask for better weather. Less than thirty it's, days away is Halloween. It's it's uh, beautiful out here. I wish it was like this year round. I could do this every single day. No rain, no snow, no hail, no yeah, windy I mean, days. It's just, this is perfect. I don't even have to have the air conditioner on if I don't want to today, but it is on. You're not going to be making no ribs in three months. You're going to be making a snowman. <laughs> Some snow angels. Yeah, I barbecue in the winter, but not something that takes a long time. Just I'll throw <laughs> some steaks on real quick. Again, if you do that indirect heat barbecue method, then you can barbecue anything you want. You're only coming out for a minute. So listen to this. One time I, uh, I got New York strips, five of them. And I'm on a big platter. It's winter time. So I'm coming out to, uh, I'm gonna come out and barbecue. I got the barbecue lit and already preheated. And I set them down. I forgot my toque. So I, uh, <laughs> I set them down. I ran upstairs, grabbed my toque, ran back down and uh, the dog was licking its lips and there was one stick left on the platter. <laughs> <laughs> so we had uh, pizza then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. Cover this up. Put that, put that bacon and then uh, we're gonna eat. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Kept the rest. But every time I, uh, you know, I remember like now. Right. You know? After it's already like too late. If you gotta prep it really at least an hour before. 
I don't know, this egg is the sun. So beautiful. All right, look at that. Look at the rib hooks. <laughs> All right. Shit in. Let's see. All right. Microphone. Hi, hi. Chance. Those look nice. See, ribs is a food like you yeah, have one of those questions. It's like, what could you eat five pounds of? If you had a pig? <laughs> yeah, but ribs are the, the obvious answer. Right, yeah. Because it's hard to eat five pounds of hamburger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or eat uh, crab or ribs, because you got a shell to That's take right. some of the weight off, right? Yeah. So, you know what? These are falling off the bone. I would love to try like some kind of huge animal rack of ribs. You know, like rhinoceros or something. Yeah, some <laughs> moose, you know, beast. Something, something really big. Some moose ribs. And as much hunting as people do, I never hear of no one having moose ribs, so... No, because I don't think they're very tender. You can make anything tender. You think? Oh, yeah. Especially if it's overcooked. With, yeah, yeah, with time and acid, you can make anything tender. You want to grab those tender. potatoes out of the oven? Mm -hmm. Ribs on here. Grab a few plates and we're... Or maybe there's just not a lot, like a duck. You know, you can only eat duck breasts, really, because there's no other meat anywhere else on the animal. Maybe moose ribs. No meat on the moose ribs, maybe. They're going to stick. I know they are, but a little bit. Let's do our best to... Not bad. Just take your time. Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. And there you go. That's how you make the most delicious ribs. The the most side dish. Potato. Put a little coleslaw on the side. You've got a full entree. Boom.